first let's add a new movie and let's go down to square that's the one i like to use the most click empty and now we're going to bring up procreate now you can download uh, this procreate file for free for a limited time so get it while it's free so let me just show you this file really quick this is also something you can make on your own if you need to so let's go to layers and notice what I have here. I have raise one, you can see raise two, it's a little different. Raise three, also a little different. And these ripples, one, two, and three, were made with a luminance light pen. And basically all of these one, two, three are just the same layer duplicated and just moved around a little bit. And then we have our background layer. Notice here I have the airbrush right here. I use that to make a, a darker blue on the bottom to make it look like the water is endless. It's a deep ocean. Okay, so this is what your Procreate file will look like. And don't worry, there's no whale here because we're going to draw that later. And we have a special bonus tip we're going to give you at the very end, so stay tuned for that. Okay, let's go back to Procreate Dreams now. And just as usual, just grab the Procreate file from the gallery and drag it right into Procreate Dreams. Okay, and then you can go ahead and resize it to fit. Now let's go down to the drawing layer, long press, and convert layers to tracks. Okay, now we can go into the group here, press the arrow, and notice all of these layers from Procreate are here. So raise one, two, and three. Okay, so let's just uncheck raise two and three so we can work with raise one here. Okay, so click on the raise one track and bring the playhead to the beginning. Click on the playhead and filter. And now we want the opacity to change. So click on that. We're going to click the live perform button. And now we're just going to toggle this back and forth so you can see it gets brighter and dimmer and even disappearing at times. This is going to be the water movement here. Okay, so let's take a look. Okay, again, uh, you might see some washed out colors here, but on your iPad, uh, you'll be able to see it clearly. Let's go now to uh, raise two. We're going to work with this one and basically do the same thing. Check the box here so we can see it and click on the playhead and filter. Now, we want to stop the live perform because we want the opacity to start at zero. So click on the live perform, and again, just bring this back and forth. Try to alternate with the other track. When that's not showing, this one will show, etc. But you might do it a few times to get it the way you like it. Okay, so there we go, that looks pretty good. Press the stop button, and now let's go to raise three. And basically we're going to do the exact same thing as raise one and two. So I'm just gonna speed it up a little bit here. Press the stop button again, and now we're going to work on the ripples. Uh, just the same as we did the raise. We're going to work on ripples one, ripples two, and ripples three. So basically the same thing. Click on the filter, opacity, and click Live Perform. Now, just as before, just bring this back and forth to make the light show and disappear. Okay, that should work. Press Stop, and do the same thing for Ripples 2 and Ripples 3. And remember, you can move it as much as you want. You can distort it a little bit, the ripples, so they change a little more, so it's up to you. Press Stop, and let's go down to uh, Ripples 3 and do the same thing. Okay, we're not done yet, but let's look at it in full screen just to make sure it looks good. All right, looks great. Now it's time to draw the whale. So because we wanna draw the whale behind these rays, let's go down to the background layer, click on that, and we're going to click Add and Track. Okay, this is where we will draw the whale. You don't need any drawing experience. Click on the draw tool. We're gonna need maybe just the airbrush. We can stay with soft brush here. And for the color, just click on the color thing here and 
go to the screen and you can long press on a blue here and we want it to be darker. So go down a bit here where it's very dark and this whale is going to be off in a distance. So you'll just be able to see basically uh, the silhouette of it. So find a place in the center. It doesn't matter where we're going to move it eventually and just start drawing the shape of the whale. You don't need any details. Just make the uh, outline shape of it. As you can see, I'm no whale expert, so you can use a reference picture if you like to make sure it looks like a whale. All right, when you're done with the whale, go down to the little sliver here, long press, and fill duration. Now, unclick the draw tool, and now we're going to uh, just start moving the whale a little bit. So click on move and warp. Now you can leave it at the minimum four and four here. Just click on live perform. Start moving the tail back and forth. You're gonna see that we're gonna kind of pick random spots of the whale just to make it look like not only it's swimming, but the shape is also distorted a little bit by the water. Okay, now go back to the beginning of the whale track and click on stop. And now we're going to move a different part. So move and warp and uh, just pick part of the tail and move that kind of in sync with the top of the tail So it looks a little nice and remember it's recording your hand movement. So you want to move it slowly Okay, no need to press stop we'll go back to the beginning click on move warp and just go anywhere you like I'll go to the nose of the whale and move that a little bit and Then next I'll go down to the fins and move those around a little bit again very slowly and naturally And when you're done with the movement of the whale and you're happy with it, go to the beginning here, click on move and move in scale. And we're gonna make the keyframe. Make sure it's white. Uh, that's the beginning keyframe and just drag the whale off screen here. This is where it's going to start. Okay, go all the way to the end and we want the ending keyframe. So click on the end here, drag it down a little bit till you see the white keyframe and just drag it over to the other side off screen and then we have a little trick to show you after this okay now the bonus tip bring the whale to the beginning click on play and when it's about in the center of the screen here click pause and now we're actually gonna make it curve upward we're gonna make the whale swim up okay click live perform and tap on the handle and just grab on the curve and you can just curve it upwards as the whale is swimming upwards. Okay, that should look good. Click stop, four fingers for a full screen, and let's look. And there you have it. I hope this level up tutorial can help you increase your skills using Procreate Dreams. And if you like this video, please don't forget to like and subscribe. Also, please check out my links below like my children's book and online shop. Click on these videos to continue leveling up with Procreate Dreams. Thanks again for watching and see you next time.